Hello everybody. So I just wanted to share some information regarding these Okibono brake calipers. Uh, so I'm, since I'm going to re redo these brake calipers here, <clears throat> I just want to tell you that I'm going to be replacing those uh, the decals. So the stickers there. So I'm going to be replacing it with the original manufacturers who manufacture these, which is the Akibono. And so I <clears throat> got the Akibono stickers off of uh, eBay for $5.99. And I'll share the link down below. But uh, these are it. These are the both the front and the rear. So very nice as in terms of quality. I haven't actually peeled it yet because I'm more interested in regards to the size. And so <clears throat> if I actually put it up there to the caliper, it's a perfect fit. So as in terms of lengthwise, and so I'll be doing these here on the front and then on the rear, which you don't see, which is back there. And so this one here, which is sold by uh, GT Vinyls, uh, I'll send the link down below. And they have a really good price for $5.99. Uh, you know, came in roughly about uh, two days, two, three days, not too long at all. Uh, so these are the stickers. Um, I don't know if you can see that. And so it's with the clear coat on there, just basically peel. So that's the right size that you want. <laughs> okay. Okay. For the rears, I'm gonna, let me move this away real quickly. This one here is for the rear. And so I am putting on the uh, Infinity G37 calipers on the Nissan. And so I don't know if you guys can see that. And so if I take this and line this up perfectly to the caliper, is definitely a perfect fit so this is probably the shortest video I'm gonna actually make so that's that so this is just the part two of what I call the test fit of the Akibono brake calipers uh, for the Nissan Maxima uh, or the Nissan 370Z or whatever vehicle you like to put this on G37 yeah <clears throat> okay just another FYI tip if you decide to put the Akibono brake calipers on your Nissan being e via the Maxima or being the I'm sorry be the Maxima or the 370Z guys make sure you buy the 370Z one because uh, as you know you won't have to modify like what I did on mine which is putting a little small uh, slicing it out just a little bit because it since it hits the hub a little bit doesn't not too much so I have the I have the body shop basically sand that down and make it look quite nice so you won't even notice it so that's it oh I guess maybe some of you guys wanted to see the width and the length of it as well so <clears throat> let me just show you okay so these here are obviously the Akibono it is roughly if I recall about, about 11 inches yeah and so, yep, yeah, okay, here one inch, yeah, roughly about uh, 10 and a half as in terms of length. You guys can't see this, I'm sorry. And so the width wise is about six and a half. 10 and a half, six and a half. Okay, so that's that. Let me show you this too, guys. <clears throat> this one here is the website, the one that I got it from. And so it's this this gentleman here, GT Vinyls. Oop, yeah, there you go, GT Vinyls. And so he sells those. Obviously, okay, went straight into his site. Uh, Five ninety nine, free shipping and handling. Looks like he sold quite a bit. He looks like he sold 50, uh, 50 pieces. So pretty good. His ratings are good as well. Um, if I recall, he had uh, quite some nice ratings. <clears throat> so that's pretty much it, guys. That is the Akibono brake caliper part two of the vinyl uh, sticker test. Thank you.